At Bianchi Honda, we want to exceed your expectations for customer service. From our gorgeous showroom and accommodating staff to our extraordinary selection of Honda vehicles and industry-leading service department. Your vehicle should be the best choice for you, and you can find it here at Bianchi Honda. I'm Jason Perico, and I promise to always make it worth a visit. want to welcome Gannon women's coach Jim uh, Brunelli. Coach, thanks for joining us. Hey, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Sorry you had to be part of that title. That's okay. Kind of fired up today. I, like I this. can see that. It's good to see people get fired up. Well, I think that, you know, the Notre Dame loss actually didn't even bother me. They weren't going to get in. Right, And right. they're still going to be where they were going to be, give or take a spot. Yeah, yeah. You know, get a book, good that was a heck of a game, though. It was a great game. You know, and I'm not making excuses. These are facts. They were banged up, and they right. were fun to watch. Yeah. That's all I can ask. Yeah, right, you know? right. And your team's fun to watch. Uh, anxious to hear. Um, two two game losing streak? Uh, I wish. Three. It is three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's um, Shepherd, Grand Valley, and Shippensburg, right? Shippensburg, yes. Shepherd, Grand Valley. I forgot yep. about that. Yeah. Um, Real quick, did you like going to Shepherd? I mean, did you like that little area down there? You know, I didn't mind it. I've never been I there like before. It. It, it's like a nice it a little lot. town. We actually stayed in, I think it was Martinsburg. Uh -huh. um, so it was about 15 minutes away. But as we were driving in, um, you know, I didn't think it was that bad. The school seemed really nice. Um, wish we would have came out of there with a W, but you got to be able to shoot a little bit better in the second half to do that. So Take us uh, through the Shepherd and the Grand Valley games, Coach. Oh, boy, do I have to? Yeah. Um, no, you don't well, have to. Well, really. Shepard, it was the day before break. No excuses. They they wanted it more than us. You know, That's what it's all about. aren't exactly excuses all the time. They're facts. No, and, and know, that's the fact is. Facts are yeah. facts. And they're, they're, they're a good ball team. Um, you know, they're an NCAA tournament team last year. And, you know, it was one of those things where we, we competed with them in the first half and the first two quarters. And then the second, we just couldn't make anything. I mean, from outside the arc or inside the arc where the charge is called, <laughs> right. we couldn't make anything. And that hurt us. You know, you can't go. Most of our free throws that we did make were in the first quarter, and we couldn't get anything. We couldn't get anything the fall, and we shot, I think it was 22 23% in the second half. You can't win many ball games doing that when, you know, in the first two quarters we're shooting 40-some percent, and you come down to 22. And I've You're not going to win many ball games. Times, it looks like you've got a lot of options to shoot the ball, so it's unusual that the whole team is going to go south yeah. at once. Yeah, oh, it was, it was a scene, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, we had, we had players from the outside, mid-range, and inside, and we couldn't get it done. And uh, they made big shots, and then they hit some free throws down the stretch. And then the uh, the Grand Valley, they, they're a very, very good team. They should probably get in the top 25 here in the next poll if it doesn't happen tomorrow. Um, very, very well coached, very, very um, just excellent shooting team, and they came out on fire. And I haven't seen a team do that against us in a long time where they just made everything. You know, I, I told my team after the game um, to go into halftime down 17 and to have the, the fight and the grit to cut it to two and take that lead back. I'm proud to be their coach. Against a good team. Against a very good team. Um, because a lot of teams, a lot of teams would have hung their head and it would have got routed coming out of there. Um, but we decided to play the defense that we were supposed to play in the first you know, 20, 20 minutes, you first mean two quarters. the same effort or the same type of defense? Which both, a little bit of both. I think our in our two losses, and even our third one, if you count our energy and our focus wasn't there for 40 minutes, and it has to be. You can't have, you can't go lax in a game. You just can't. It, it's just not acceptable. And um, I think our focus and our energy has to be better. And, um, and hopefully... You know, tomorrow night, we'll get them ready to go, and they'll be ready to play. Um, but I take full responsibility for that. I got I got to do better as a coach, getting them ready. And, uh, you know, like I, I tell the team, I said this before on this show, they get all the wins, I get all the losses. So um, I got to do better, and uh, I'm sure going to try. That's for well, darn sure. 
Grand Valley, I was telling somebody, you know, I'd hate to have to scout Grand Valley because no team is going to do what they do uh, the way they shot the ball to start the game. Yeah. I, I mean, that's ridiculous. Did you switch defenses or did you switch, as you said, the effort? No, I think it had to do, I think it all had to do about about effort and knowing the scattering report. You know, we went in, and there there's fine details going into a game. You know, you have all these different game plans it, it, for different players. You got to play scattering report defense. You got to know the scattering report. You know the kids that need to shoot. And the first couple threes they hit, there wasn't a hand or a contested shot to be in sight. After we started doing that, it got a little bit better. And then we started rebounding the ball a little bit, and then we we started putting the ball in the hoop and playing with a little bit of energy. And, and you saw how it changed. It changed the, the, the way the game was played. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we ran out of time. But uh, it, it's about knowing what knowing your role, knowing what you're supposed to do. And uh, we, we did that in the third and fourth quarters. Have these three games changed your uh, looking at a starting lineup or rotation? Um, yeah. Yeah, they have. Um, you know, it goes with, we need energy people. We need energy. We need people that can come in and give us something, whether it's defensively, whether it's offensively. So, you know, we're, we're, we're it, it, it's, it's a work in progress. We're so early in the season, uh, you know, seven games in. We have, it's such a marathon this season. It's going to, I was just looking, preparing our calendar for January and February, and I'm like, man, we still got two months of this. And, and you know, and you, we're not even in December yet. So we just got to settle down a little bit. Um, I think I really feel we're going to get better as the year goes on, game by game. We're going to do things a little bit better here and there. And um, that's, that's what I'm excited about. Do you have a starting five for tomorrow? Um, I believe I do. Uh, the last two practices have been, have been okay with, with the group we have in. And it's the same group right now um, that we've started before. Um, we just, I just have to get more energy out of them, you know, ready to go. All right, IUP, uh, you and I can at least talk about that. It's hard for me to ask coaches to look ahead. That's, right. that's my job. I mean, I'm already looking at Edinburgh, December 16th, which right. I know you don't even know there's a December 16th. Right, this, right, right. But I'm just trying to tell the fans ahead yeah, of time. Yeah. Obviously, we'll get to that next week. Uh, but uh, on hand, IUP. Uh, how are they playing? Who to look out for? I mean, this is a big time stretch so early in the season. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, IEP is very good, uh, very well coached. Um, Coach McConnell does an excellent job down there, and he's done an excellent job. Him and I came into the league at the same time, and uh, you know they're five and two right now. They just had a tournament down at their place where they played some teams out of the CIAA, and they had some big wins. And uh, very good team, very talented team. They have a, a local product who was over at um, Villa. Villa, and she, uh, Brooks yep, Jane Brooks. She has done, you know, watching her on film. Each year I watch that young lady. She gets better and better, and that's all you she want does. as a coach. Yep, yeah. yep. She's had a little bit more to her game as far as an outside shot, 15, 16 foot range. She's been knocking those down. They have a tremendous point guard um, in Marina um, Wareham. And then they have a, she's been a there, right? yeah, yeah. She's a senior. They have some seniors down there, and uh, and they have another young lady who's their shooting guard, Stapleton, who is, who is putting up some big numbers. I think she's right around 17 points. They have three or four and um, that are averaging, you know, double figure points. So they're doing a really nice job. It's gonna be it's gonna be a definite battle. I think we match up pretty well with them, and um, I just you know I'm just wanting our kids. I, I think our kids see the sense of urgency that we need to play with. And you can't ha you can't take plays off or have a lax in defense or an offensive moment. So we got to go in prepared because they are a very good team. Does IUP like to get up and down the court? They do. They like to push that that point guard of theirs, uh, Wareham. She she moves the ball very well, and they run um, a really good motion style offense with some down screens, some some uh, some flare screens, and it, and we can get caught up in it. But uh, our lady, uh, you know, the focus on the practice. Um, the ladies have defended what we what we think they're going to do pretty well. We just got to go out there and contest shots and limit them to one one shot per possession. Did you say she averages seventeen a game? Or yes, she, okay. Stapleton does. Oh, not, they're two not guard. the point guard. Not the point guard. She she's at about ten eleven points, yeah. and then Brooks is about ten eleven points as well. I think I think she's down to twelve right now. But 
still, you, you know, you have three or four players averaging double figures, yeah. and they're five and two, so they're playing with some confidence. I'm just not big on when the uh, point guard's my leading scorer. It's, I think well, she's scorer. her second, she's yeah, her third I leading scorer. She, yeah, yeah, it. right. Yeah, right. So Stapleton, what is she? A Sta guard? Yep, she's a shooting guard. She's their two guard, and they have some really nice players. Uh, there's a Smith kid, Megan Smith, number 42. She she's a sophomore and playing very well. I uh, like her game. She's a, she's a good sized guard. They have a nice team. We got to be ready and ready to go. But uh, you know what? I, I, I love our team. I, I love our competitiveness. We just got to come out and show it for 40 minutes. All right. Three tough road games in a row. We'll touch on two of them. Edinburgh is a week from Wednesday, two weeks from Wednesday. Yeah. Um, so let's start at Lock Haven. Um, you go down there, it's a tough place to play. Perchance they turn the lights on, it gets yeah. dark and everything. Yeah. Um, how are they this year? They're always. You know what? I'm 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 the worst per person to talk about because I haven't even looked at, looked at them. Uh, my assistant, one of right. my assistant coaches, is looking at them right now. Um, we're just trying to focus on one game, but I haven't been in that building in a long time since I was uh, a graduate assistant. So I haven't we we haven't played down oh. there yet. So it's been it's been a couple years and. Oh, uh, it's like the village of the damned or something. Yeah, um, I know that. Um, you know they, they they do a great job down yep. there. We got to be ready. It's going to be on the road. It's a back to back game because then we got Bloom next the next day. So um, we got to be ready to play. And and our kids know we've done this before. That's what you do in the PSAC. You get these East West games and and you play them back to back. And you just got to be ready. You got to yeah, be ready. I forgot that the Lock Haven's in the East now. Right. So right. You didn't catch them. Right. Um, are both Lock Haven Bloomsburg coached by the same coaches from last year? Yes. So you can yes. get old film. New yep. Film. Yep. And see what Bloom's always good, aren't they? They are. They are. Coach Cleary does an excellent job down there, and uh, we we have to be ready. We got to come in. We, we you know we're, we're focused on IUP right now, and then uh, we have a day off on Wednesday, and we'll get prepared for uh, that that double header on Thursday and Friday. I know you announced was it three new recruits? Three, yes. Are you allowed <coughs> to comment on? That? We are now. They have signed. They all three of them have signed a national letter of intent. Um, and we have it all turned in, and, and it's been announced, so we, we are able to talk about that. All right, well, let's, um, I don't have their names, but is it uh, Taves? Tavis. Teammate, Tavis, is her teammate coming? Yes, that's her sister. Oh, her sister. That's her sister. <laughs> nice they went to the yep. same school. Yeah. Also, it's Tavis' sister from uh, Waterford, Michigan, yep. Waterford Kettering. Yep. Tavis, really impressive as a freshman, 5'11". Yeah. Pretty much same type player. Um, uh, you know what? She... They, they complement each other very well. Um, Haley is her name, who's just signed with us. Lauren is in-house right now. Haley, um, when I get to see them play over the summer and different things, she runs a lot of the point guard as a 5'11". She's a very versatile player. Uh -huh. um, lefty, just like her sister. Um, she was at, you know, she, we've seen her play over the summer for the last two summers. Right. So really, really like her game and just really excited about the chemistry they have on the court together. All right. And she's one that... All your freshmen always seem to be coming that can help immediately. Uh, that's that's what we got to do. You know, our goal is to recruit better players than the year before because that's just going to push everybody to work harder and get us to where we need to be. And the other two recruits. And the other two recruits, uh, we have a, a young lady, um, Marissa Sibka, from right down the road in Slippery Rock. Um, very hard nosed player, very very talented young lady. Um, her work ethic and 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 her passion are they're off the charts. Um, she suffered a, a knee injury last year that held her out of the, the tail end of her junior year midseason. Um, but she's rehabbed, been following her rehab all, all summer, and, and, and she's been cleared to play, and, and she's been lacing them up for the last couple of days and, you know, trying to work back into it. But comes from a well-coached program down there in Coach Tabbitts, and uh, she just, we're just really excited about her because uh, we, we got a commitment from her. We, we've had as, a, had her as a commitment for a year. So she's come up, really likes the ladies, really likes the school, and she fits our style. She can do a little bit of everything. She is a very, very strong young lady. Can, now, how tall and what position she, is she She's probably about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and she can play She can play the three, the four. She can defend any of the guards, um, really like her. And the last young lady we signed is a point guard out of uh, Wisconsin, Kiana Cannon. And played plays for a very good high school out there, Marshall High School, uh, really good AAU program, and uh, she's a young lady that sees the floor very, very well, uh, and she's a scoring point guard. She's able to put up some points, 
Um, but what I love about her is just her ability to see the floor. She she understands. So she's a pure point. The other two are kind of. Yeah, they're guards. They're yeah. guards. Um, now Haley, Haley, you know, I, I I see us running her at the point sometimes just to mix things up. Um, but Kiana does a great job just getting everybody involved. She has a, she has a tremendous court vision and, and she knows when to pass, when not to, when to dribble, all that good stuff. Um, and I was really impressed with watching her play this summer and, and really excited about the class that we have coming in. The Slippery Rock player must be pretty good to sign her early out of, uh, yeah, area. yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed seeing her. Their, her. their teams and their AAU teams have come up to our team camp and uh, just getting to know her. And she comes from a basketball family. Her sister's played basketball and different things like that. And and she's just a hard-nosed kid and, and that toughness that we need. Now, if everything stays the same, do you have any more offers out there? Will you be taking any more? We'll get, we'll get at least one to two more in the late signing. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're recruiting, you know, a handful of kids getting down to it. And, 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 uh, you know, we're on, we're on a post player that we really like out of Ohio and, and we're on some local kids as well. So, uh, we're just, uh, we're just plugging away at it. Are you looking at certain positions for the next? Week? Yeah. Yeah. For these, for, for these, for the late signing, we'll, we'll try to go, um, uh, you know, since, since we signed three guards, we definitely need a post player since we lose a couple. Uh, but we also have, you know, three post players in house from our freshman year that, that are currently playing. So, um, we're, we're going to look at at least one more, one more post and, and we'll try to get best guard available. All right. Coach Jim Brunelli starts tomorrow again. Yep, back at it. Three tough games in three days. Yep. Uh, against IUP, you say coming in at five and two. Yes. yes. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it, buddy.